Hi there, welcome to today's painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to paint a tulip, so let's get started. And let's start with a size zero round brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of magenta and some of this burnt umber and make a dark value. And let's try to put this in as kind of like a shadow. I'm gonna go around some of these little layers here and just put that in along the sketch and if you'd like to paint along with me you can just find this sketch in the description below I'm gonna go around this area okay and then let's mix up Add a little bit of magenta, take some ultramarine blue, see if we can get kind of a dark purple color from that. Let's add a little bit of burnt umber. And then let's put that right here in the center. It's a really bright, bold purple. And I'm gonna try to kind of feather my brush strokes in an upward fashion. Okay, so let's add some more magenta. And then I'm going to put some of that darker color over here. And then let's put some on this side. Let's kind of fill in this area in the back. And we can do around here. Just going to cover some of the lines of the sketch. I'm going to add some more magenta to this darker color. And then let's kind of put that around these areas and kind of feather that out. And then let's go around, can add some of that right here, then kind of go around this. At this point, we're adding our dark values and we're outlining areas of the sketch. Okay, I wanna add a little bit more burnt umber and I wanna make this area in here Kind of fill that in a little bit. And then I'm going to add some of this color right here along the stem. And now let's add some of the darker values to the stem. So I have this hooker's green and I have an evergreen. I actually want the evergreen, which is a darker color. And let's put that in the middle of this area here, getting some nice brush strokes with that paint. And then we can come around, kind of around the edge here, put this area in shadow. And then we can add some shadow to this part of the flower or to the stem and put it onto the right side. Try to get a clean brush stroke. Okay, and then let's take some yellow, just a primary yellow or a cadmium yellow. Let's put some of that yellow in here. We'll kind of blend it into that green of the stem that's still a little bit wet. And then we can feather it up. Okay, now let's take a lighter. Let's actually mix up. So I'm gonna take the hooker's green. I'm gonna add some yellow, and then I'm gonna add some teal. 
and see if we can get a cooler shade of green. I need a little more teal. Okay, and then let's put that cooler shade of green in. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this white and mix that in and then do a little bit, maybe grab a little more white so that paint is wet so it wants to kind of mix on the page, which is fine. Just add it in there as a highlight. Okay, and then I want a warm green. So let's take that yellow and mix a little bit of the hooker's green and see if that will give us a nice, almost a spring green color. And we'll put that along the stem. And then take a little bit of the titanium white and add that down the center as a highlight and it's kind of mixing in, which is fine. Okay, so now let's switch brushes. And I have a size four filbert brush. And next we can put in some kind of mid-tone lighter colors. So I'm gonna take this magenta and let's put some of that in, just a straight magenta. Beautiful bright color, kind of feather that in and bring it up here and over here. Okay, and now let's take, I'm gonna rinse off the brush and you can take some titanium white, mix that up to make a nice light pink. And then let's put that in We'll put that around the petals, kind of going around the edge, letting things mix together as we go. And flowers are a little more forgiving, so you can be loose with your painting and you can be more expressionistic with your brush strokes. And that'll just give you a little bit more of a painterly effect Okay, we'll put some up here. And then around this area. I'm kind of going over some of the dark parts and that's fine too. Okay, so now let's take more of a mid-tone purple or a lighter purple and add some white to it. And then let's try to feather that in. That's pretty close, so I want a little bit more purple. Okay, let's add this. Just kind of covering up the white of the paper. Put some over here. Okay, so now I want to go back and add some white and I'm gonna stick with this for Filbert. So I'm gonna take some titanium white. And I'm gonna mix it with some of this gloss medium. So it's just an acrylic gloss medium. And let's see if we can add that onto the flower. And I'm using this because I want the paint to kind of flow, put some up here, I'm going to grab a little bit more of a straight white because that medium is kind of making it a little bit transparent and I 
I kind of want that white to show up a little more. Okay, and then while that's a little bit wet, let's take some of that magenta and see if we can feather it out and give us some really pretty expressionistic loose brush strokes. Okay, I'm going to take some titanium white and let's go around this area. Just kind of making some round strokes and that's giving us the texture of the tulip. You can come up here, do that same thing. I'm kind of making a scalloped edge around that darker value that we had and then just letting it kind of blend into the pink. You can kind of blend a little more if you need to. And then we could add some of that white. Just do some streaks here. Use that edge of the brush. Maybe add a little bit over here. And a little bit on this edge. Okay, so now I'm going to switch. I've got a zero spotter. And we lost some of our darker values, so I'm going to try to go back and put some of those in. So I've got this burnt umber. Take a little ultramarine blue. Mix that up maybe with a little magenta. Get that nice dark, rich purple, maroonish color. And let's add, see if I can add a line down the middle here. Just carefully going down. And then kind of lift up. And then let's put that, kind of re-emphasize it over here. And then re-emphasize it on this side. Kind of coming down. Okay, and we could go back over this area. Just kind of re-emphasize those shapes. Okay, so I think we can call this finish. This is a nice, loose, fun tulip painting that you can try. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more acrylic painting tutorials and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!